Wow, that is killer. That one's from the 60s. That one was actually before the rock and stock. Mm -hmm. Seems like it works. Drainage. Oh, that's cool. Gable, two controllers. What's your price for it? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Corey, and we went to a bunch of different flea markets this weekend, and we got one item that turned out to be way more valuable than I possibly imagined. But let's go ahead and roll the footage, and we'll talk about what we got at the end. Oh, when, when you like break in? What the heck is that? Like broke players, kind of. Okay. okay. Uh, how about how about ten bucks? Thanks. What's your price on this little toy? Uh, dollar. Dollar. Okay. Who gets the money? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, wow, that is killer. Old Betty Poop. That one's from the 60s. That one was actually before the rock. I'm sockum. I didn't know that oh, was wow. one before. That works too. Feels mm -hmm. seems like it works. Did you say that one was from? The 60s. Where's it come? It survived a lot longer than it would have if it were in my house. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was a knockoff of the rock and saw it. When I looked it up, just put them right there for right now. When I looked it up, it's actually before that. What are you getting for? 20. 20? Hmm. Yeah, the cheapest one I found online was right at $70. Really? Wow. It's called Clash of the Cosmic Robots. Let's see what it's worth. So we'll complete with the box, it's worth about $50. Definitely not worth 20. It's kind of cool. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Are these your games? Yes. Oh, well, how much you want for those? Uh, ten bucks. Ten? Uh, for like each of them, ten, ten. What about your controller? Uh, fifty. Okay, I'll grab your games. All right. Twenty. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm thinking I've got enough to last me a couple more years, but. Oh, there's two games? Yeah, it is. Oh. You have both. Hmm. Episodes and... Oh, what's your price on this? Oh, that's six dollars. Six? Oh, I think I know why. This one doesn't work, but this one does. Yeah. One of them is One of them's really scratched, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So this one was the replacement for that one. Would you do Would you do five for it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello. Hmm. Oh, there's all kinds of there, all kinds of comic books. Sir, they, they should be, they should be one on this side. They ain't, but 
I'm gonna say 80% of them has got one on each side. Oh, okay. A book, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I see. I can say they all different flavors, just whatever you want to rest in. Everything, everything on this whole table is $2. $2? Okay, cool. If you want them. If you must be the man that wanted to buy all of them, I'd make you a real good deal. Oh, I wish. Oh, no. I don't have enough money for that, but... I'll grab this one here. Thank, Thank you. you sir. Thank you, sir. What's your price on this guy, sir? How much is this guy? Ten. Beetle Bailey. Okay, hmm. good thing I didn't buy that. Work this morning, and I can see so much better. How much is your little two? Okay. There you go. Thank you. How much is your Wii U? 160. 160? We got Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart 8 and Super Mario 50. Oh, cool. 160. Alright, I'll think about it. I might be back. Alright. Yeah. Hello. Oh. That was like, dang, that was my bone. She's got one of her berries. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hey. Oh, PS2 memory yeah. card. It's orange. What's, mm. what's your price on this? Oh, five. And what about this? Five. Five. Hey, mire, super sistemas. Super Nintendo. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Oh, cool. Two controllers, cables. Oh, what's this stuff? Brain Age, Texas Hold'em. Game Boy Advance games are easily not worth getting. Oh my gosh. It's sealed. I want one. What do you got on this game here? Grand Theft Auto 5? On 8. 8, okay. 5, 10, 15. Oh, that's cool. Cables to control it. $2. 
two controllers. Yeah. No Power core. Yeah. Looks like it's that's messed up, but that goes to this as well. Me, me here, one more thing. What's your price for it? Huh? What's your price for it? For you, 60. 60? 20, 40, 60. All right, I'll take it. Huh? I'll take it for 60. Five, five, ten. Ten plus eight. Eight, uh, 78. 78, 24, 60. 80. There's 80 then. Yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome, man. Good day. You too. Yeah. Car, but it's a remote control. It's a brand new battery. Um, that's the charger, brand new battery. I bought this separate because the other bought was this, but then I bought this online. Um, I think they do like 40 bucks on it. Three bucks. Hmm. Say five? Uh, no, three. Oh, three. Yeah. Okay. You want to take that? Uh, it's cool. Five on it. I think it's missing like the pedals. The little dongle? Yeah, it's missing the breakaway cable. Yeah. It's cool though. I've never seen that. Hey, you, good? Buddy. you have a good day. You too. VHS in here. Never heard of this game. Get fit with Mel B. What's your price on these two? Uh, dollar. Okay, cool. Let's got two of them. Okay. Not a bad day. Let's head out of here. So we're back home now. We spent $113 in total. Let's see how much we're going to make after we have everything sold. So at the first flea market, we didn't do all that great. All I found was these three items. We got the uh, troll doll. This is called uh, a battle troll. It's from about 1992. It is a bit dirty and it's missing its cape, but um, it's still worth about $10 in this condition. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell it on eBay or trade it in, but um, whatever I decide to do, I'll probably get around maybe two, three dollars out of it. So not a huge profit. But after that, we got this uh, little blowouts toy. It's like a party toy for um, for kids. And uh, it looks like it has, well, it says 1991. I thought it might be Batman Forever, but I think it's just like a generic Batman um, party toy. Um, paid a dollar for it. I think it's worth about $15. I couldn't find any comps on eBay, but that's what we're gonna price it as. And after fees and shipping, we should get about, I don't know, maybe five, six dollars out of it. So not a horrible buy. Then I didn't show it in the video, but um, we also got this PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 AV cable. Also for a dollar, I'm probably just gonna trade that in. Maybe get like two, three dollars out of it. So at the second flea market, we picked up two copies of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Brand new, still sealed on Xbox One. Um, I paid ten dollars each for them, but um, unfortunately the uh, little wrapping is ripped on both copies. So instead of selling them for like, I don't know, thirty-three dollars, I'm just gonna list them for twenty-six. And once they sell, we should be able to pretty much double our money, get about $40 after fees and shipping. So uh, pretty good buy. So next up was Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City for PS3. I about passed up on this game because when I opened it, 
The disc that was shown was pretty scratched. It had a lot of top scratches. And as you guys know, when it comes to Blu-rays, if they have top scratches, you pretty much can't resurface those out. Um, the bottom doesn't look great either, but thankfully it had this extra copy, which looks much better. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but I think if this game actually works, then I can maybe sell it for about $18, which means if you take into account shipping and all the fees and stuff, probably make a couple dollars on this one. The last thing I got at the second flea market was this Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger comic book. Now, it was in a really um, dirty sleeve, but the book itself is in pretty great condition. Um, it's not going to be like graded a 10 or anything, but all the pages are there and it looks pretty darn good. I think um, I can probably sell this for about $20 in this condition, which was probably the most valuable of all those comics that were in that entire grouping. So uh, it was a really good buy. Definitely my favorite thing I got earlier in the day. So I didn't buy much from the third flea market, just this Curious George plush. It's a uh, pretty big uh, stuffed Curious George monkey. I didn't actually know that this was around back in the 70s, but um, I knew just by looking at it, looking at the tag and the style of the fur and everything, it was a really old piece and I had to pick it up. And you can tell from the tag that it's, um, it's pretty worn out, but um, it's got some repairs in various spots. But uh, overall, a really cool thing for just $2. I think I can sell this for about $65. So uh, after fees and everything, I'll probably make about $47 in total. So a pretty decent profit. At the final flea market, I picked up this Game Boy Color case. Really cool. Um, I always pick these up when I find them. They're usually fairly cheap as well. As you can see, it's an official Nintendo one. Um, so basically, you put the Game Boy Color in here, and you can kind of open it and play the game like that. Pretty cool. Um, paid three bucks for it and could probably sell it for $22. So after fees and stuff, I'll show up on the screen how much I think I'll make. But uh, yeah, you always got to take into account the fees and the shipping because um, it's going to definitely take down how much you're going to be able to make on each thing. So get stuff as cheap as you possibly can. Um, after that, we picked up a couple of cool games. Well, well, one cool game. Get Fit with Mel B. Now, I had no idea what this was worth. Um, it's a game I've never heard of, never seen it before. Apparently it's um, made for 360 in Europe, but um, there's only like maybe, I don't know, like two or three of them on eBay right now, and it's a $30 game. This is definitely an off the radar game, but um, I think completionists pretty much have to buy it. So uh, it's gonna be one of those that I think in the far future may be pretty valuable. I I'm kind of unsure if I should keep it or not. Um, I don't really wanna I don't think I'll ever play it, but um, it's in good condition. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell it for $30. It'll probably take a while for me to sell, but um, like I said, I only paid a dollar for this and uh, this little DVD I got here, so 50 cent for this. Um, I bought this just to watch it. I'm not actually going to resell that or anything, but uh, yeah, 50 cents. Great buy. So sometimes you have to pay full price for things in order to get a really good deal on a bigger item. So that's exactly what I did with this one seller. Um, I paid full price for his PS2 memory card for $5, which is perfectly fine because I'm going to keep it anyways. Um, I also got for $5 X-Men Game Master's Legacy for the Game Gear. This is perfect for my Game Gear lot that I have not listed yet for whatever reason. Um, uh, so we're just going to toss it in there. Should be able to get at least an extra, I don't know, six, seven bucks on the Game Gear lot. And then we also picked up Grand Theft Auto V, which is still sealed for $8. He gave me a pretty good deal on this game. Um, this is like a $20, $22 game. So uh, even though the seal's broken, I'm still going to sell it for about $22. Bucks. So I uh, should make at least a little profit on that. But the reason I bought all this stuff was because, like I said, I wanted to get a really good deal on the Super Nintendo. Now, I knew that he had this for a while, and I had not taken a like really good look at it until today. But what makes this so special is this is a one chip version of the SNES. So normally an SNES console is worth about 80 to $100. But because this is a one chip version, this is actually worth about $150. And we paid only 60 for it. Plus it came with two controllers. Now the reason you can tell that it's a uh, one chip version is it starts with a UN3 serial number. And also if you take off this little expansion door and you look in there, you can see how it's like there's nothing, there's no like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's usually like three little dots there. And that means it's kind of, it's not a one chip version, but a two chip version. 
But uh, people want the one chip version because it has better picture, a sharper image, and um, it's just overall a better design system than the two chip version. So they're willing to pay a premium for it. But uh, of course we won't know 100% certain if this is a one chip until we open it up, which I, I don't actually have the tools with me. I couldn't find my uh, screwdriver, so uh, I had to buy a new one. And uh, we're just gonna open this up once it gets here. And I'm gonna list it for 150 bucks. So uh, that was an insane buy. So we spent about $114 on everything we bought over the last couple days. Once it's all sold and we take into account shipping fees and eBay fees, we should have a profit of about $300. So we almost tripled our money, which is pretty amazing for uh, just a couple days. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Got another video coming in just a few days. Sorry for the delay, and I will see you guys next time.